Hi, welcome back to Pi Simple GUI 2020. We're up to part nine containers. Containers are layouts that you're able to place within layouts. It's uh, you can think of it like a nested layout, and this enables Pi Simple GUI to make any window design that you can dream up, more or less, without being able to to place layouts within layouts you get into some sticky situations and this first example will demonstrate that quite well uh, he, let's take a look at this window it has four rows to it as you can see from the layout it has a list box on the first row it has two rows with text and input and it's got a row with buttons. And if we wanted to place these two rows next to this single list box, which is on a single row, we can't do that using just the, uh, the elements that you've learned so far and this row, um, sorry, list of rows kind of layout. Right there's there's just no mechanism, so we need to embed this layout into another layout. So here's here's what we'll do. Let's take these out of here, and let's make something called a column layout. And we're going to use one of the container elements called the column, and it takes uh, as its parameters a, a layout. So actually, rather than saying column here, let's just paste the rows that we took out of the other layout. And by putting them in a list, oops, then they become a layout, right? So that looks like any other layout in PySimple GUI. It's a row of rows. So now we want to take this column layout and place it next to the list box. And so this is where we put our column and we give it a column layout. Just like that. And when we run this, we'll see that this window has the elements moved from the third or second and third lines up to the first first row here. And you'll see this um, you'll, you'll see this element a lot in um, almost all Windows, all Python GUI programs that have any kind of complexity to them. Because you, as you can see, you just can't do things, um, even simple things, without being able to put a layout within a layout. Uh, like all elements in Python GUI columns have uh, padding and I, I don't know if we've talked about padding so far but padding puts uh, space around your elements so it's just something to be really aware of when you're working with columns and other layouts that when you place it in there there will be some space that's put around it if you don't turn off uh, the padding and maybe we can show you an example of how that works in a moment let's look at uh, look at the uh, the text for this in container elements there are four container elements there's the column which you've seen here there's a frame and that's a labeled frame tabs and the pane which a pane element is unique to Tkinter so the times that here's here's a few places that you would use containers when you're looking to, to do uh, a vertical should say horizontal should say vertical alignment uh, of elements so that's why it's called a column is that uh, if you had things of varying sizes and you wanted them to line up in a vertical fashion the way to do that would be to put columns so that's why it's called a column element. Uh, these can be used as placeholders um, for invisible elements. Uh, if, if 
you make an element invisible, it removes it from the layout in tkinter, and a column gives it a place to go back to. Uh, it's uh, the second point here is that we can put multiple elements next to a large element, single element, which is what we did here. We have a large, single, multi uh, list box. A multi line would be the same sort of thing, and we want to put individual rows next to it. Uh, columns can be used to align elements. Uh, you can say take this. Uh, layout that's passed into the column and align all of the elements in a particular way and it's called element justification so you could say element justify is C and or center and that will center the elements within that column so it's a way to write justify or center um, elements Uh, and then whenever you need to group things together, that's sort of what they're they're really good for. Is uh, here I'll show you something. This weather widget thing. These are columns. Any, anytime you repeat something that is a group, it's a good candidate for a column element. And that's what these are. It's a, a text element, an image element, and two more text elements. Uh, here in here you'll see uh, that this is uh, a, a text element and a graph element and it's just repeated in a grid and these containers usually take a list of lists like a layout so that's uh, just like the same column layout in fact you'll often see in my code I call them layouts whenever they go within something even within a tab or a frame so let's, th let's take a look at another container which is the frame so let's just change this one to say frame and it has two parameters that are required one is the frame title and the other is the layout and other than that it's got the same parameters so we run it and you'll see that we've now got a line around those two elements that are in this column and it has the title if you have no title then it ends up just making a box around it which is kind of handy actually you'll you'll find the sudoku demo uh, does this let's go back and talk about the padding for a moment uh, one thing we can say here is we have our layout and you can place that entire layout that you had a column can be col by the way you can shorten it let's do the full one column you could say uh, send it the the layout that you've already got right and so uh, and we need to put it as a list of lists so that should show us essentially the same uh, thing that we had. And in fact, we can just do that a few times. And what you'll see is that there'll be padding that's on each one of those columns. It's, so it adds up and it ends up moving it in like that. So you can get around that by saying, uh, Pad equals zero zero, and that will um, not add any extra space. So now, when we run it, it's uh, the same layout, and it's within a column that's within a column that's within a column. So it's ne it's highly nested, but you don't know it because there's no padding around them. Uh, if we change this. Let's make this uh, a frame instead of a column. And um, just so you can see that indeed that they are, we're making a whole bunch of nested things. And, and now let's run it. And you'll see that it placed our 
our whole layout inside of a frame, which is inside of a frame and inside of a frame. Right? So, um, that's the two uh, containers that pl embed layouts within a layout. And you can also use uh, these a container called a tab. And what that does is it places your layout within a tab. T one thing tabs are good for is breaking up uh, a window that's really long. So let's say you've created a window and it's got a lot of uh, checkboxes and um, radio buttons and uh, maybe a a multi-line and your window has just gotten really large and so you, what you can do is put them inside of tabs um, uh, for, let's go back to frame for just a second I'm sorry I'm skipping around but one, uh, it's good for breaking up your window uh, into to parts uh, in a way that your eye follows well so here you can see that this is kind of a natural group that's happened uh, let's make a copy of this. In fact, let's make two or three of them. And so with these, these are all individual layouts. We're going to make a tab group, uh, which is just like it sounds. It's a it's a group of tabs and you have to that's how you make tabs in PySimple GUI and it takes a layout but it's a special layout um, it takes a uh, list of tabs um, on a single row so it's still a list of lists but it's just a single row and if you think about how tabs look uh, here's tab one we're going to give it the column layout give it a column layout uh, uh, and then tab 2 call layout 2 and let's uh, add 3 and 4 Four. Now, you, the reason I'm not trying to reuse layouts, you know, just say call layout over and over, is that you can't. Once you've used a layout in something, you can't just repeat it. It 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 won't work. Um, I've got a syntax error, so let's see. We have our column, our tab group. Uh, so we have to finish that up and put it on a row. Okay, we got that fixed up. Um, let's run this and what you'll see is our tab group, we have tabs, one, two, three, and four. I made one of these inputs longer so that it pads out the tab. I see a bug actually in my tab code where this managed to get cut off the text, so I will file a bug. Uh, I, I added a size here to show you that the tab group will size itself to be the size of the largest tab. So this one has uh, a lot longer so it made the whole tab group uh, the same size and it's uh, the tab group again is a, it takes a layout so you see a list of a list and then inside of there is just a list of tabs within the tabs those are true layouts like this now there's nothing that stops me from embedding 
this. So instead of saying call layout two, I can paste that right in there and it will run just as well. Um, you don't have to put them in intermediate variables. This could all be one layout, in fact, uh, without any of these variables. You can just stick them right inside of the container. And you'll see some programs that are compacted like that. So the, the last uh, container that I talked about was the path. Uh, it was the uh, it's a pain. And the pain is very odd. It's unique to uh, Tkinter. I suggest you take a look at the demo programs to get an idea of, of how to use a pain. Um, just because they're they're very weird. You'll, you'll see here. So let's let's reuse the layouts uh, that we at the columns. So as I said, a, a pane is a single list. It's not a double list. It's a single list of columns. Now, if I was to run this right now, in fact, let's try to run this, you're going to see that uh, we tried to use the call three layout twice here in the tabs and in the column. And you, there's a pop-up message here that says, hey, you tried to reuse things and look and see if you can find a text element. In this case, the column has a text element. Um, and uh, so just beware that you're going to be in a world of hurt if you try to reuse layouts. Just don't do it. Um, so the way we get around that here is that we're going to comment out these tab groups and just run the pane and here's what a pane looks like it's um, it's got a handle here are the two different things that are in there you can kind of think of them as these like at the bottom of a um, pie charm window they're very very odd uh, you can change the direction as well left and right um, you can put, I think the demo uh, has panes inside of panes, so, so they're just kind of weird. I, I would stick with columns, which you will use a lot, frames you will use, uh, and let, let me show you another demo here that's in the same file. Get past the first one. This is an image viewer, and it's uh, it's one of the demo programs. This is a typical use of a column. So if you kind of look at what we have going, just naturally you can see that there are two columns because there's this vertical separator in between. We have uh, a layout that has text, an input, and a button, and it looks like a multi-line or a list box and then something over here. And if we go back and we look at the code, there's a call, left call and an images call, and here's our layout. And if we look at our layout, it has a column, a V separator, that's a vertical separator, and then another column. And uh, these look like layouts, right? Lists of lists. And so you end up with uh, a, a nice layout um, that's easily readable if you use these intermediate variables like that. Uh, I think there's one more demo after this. This is the almost all widgets and this, this demo um, is I think it's called demo all widgets and it has a, a good example of using framed uh, widgets, or sorry, framed elements to break apart your window into sections where it's easy to see. This one, the frame happens to have, uh, it looks like a, a relief to it. So let's take a look at this layout briefly. 
it's a, it's a pretty complex window, right? There's a lot here, but yet the layout fits almost on one window. In fact, it does fit on one window, right? And let's pull this back up, and you can see there's a frame, and inside the frame, I went ahead and embedded slider, three sliders, and column, column one, which has text, and three spins. So here you see a mixture of both uh, using an intermediate variable that has a layout, as well as embedding the layout directly in the call. But it's, it can be still pretty readable to embed the layout within the call. And you'll find a number of demos that do do this. Uh, I, th I think that's all I want to cover in this one. And uh, I th thank you for the comment so far. It seems like people are enjoying these, so uh, I'll keep making them. And, and uh, I'm loving what people are doing with PySimple GUI. You are impressive and uh, highly motivating in your creations. Thank you.